Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about things that I love and things that I hate. Um, I feel like I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I just want to save you guys money um, and not buy something that really truly sucks, even though people say that it's great. Um, yeah, so if you guys like videos like this, please keep watching. So first of all, my lips get super, super dry, um, especially in the summer months. They just get like chapped and stuff. So I recently just went away and I'm telling you my whole face was so burnt, especially my top lips. The Flash Patch um, by Patchology, it's the lip renewal. It only takes five minutes. I've talked about these before in my Instagram story on my YouTube. I tried them out once and I've been addicted ever since. They're just super, super moisturizing. They don't take a while. It's almost like a mask for your face. The only thing I don't like is that they're so jelly and it's just not just this brand. It's a lot of brands because there's jelly. You have to be really, really careful with it. And I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm just not a delicate person. I always seem to rip it. So be really careful when you take it off the plastic and then you put it on your lips. But I love it. It's a good brand. It's inexpensive. And if you have trouble with dry lips like me, definitely recommend you trying it out. So with brushes, I've lately, I don't know, I feel like I used to buy really cheap brushes and then they would break on me and I would just spend so much money just replacing them. Ever since I've been using really nice brushes, I haven't been replacing them as crazy. Um, so I've been taking care of them. So I just wanted to show you guys the brushes that I've been loving. I really love the Line Perfector E68 by Sigma. It has this like nice sharp angled line. So if you're like me and you really fucked up eyebrows to begin with, you need something like a good carving tool that's going to help you make any mis If you have any mistake, it's going to just basically help erase what you've done. So to me, it's really important to have this brush because I've really fucked up brows. If you've seen me in person, I normally don't wear makeup. So if I do, I only have brows on. So that's super annoying. I do want to try microblading. Um, I think I'm going to vlog it if I do it, but that's totally off topic. So anyway, if you have really messed up brows, and you have to do them every single day and it's a pain in the ass literally you need this brush because it's like a magic eraser basically I just throw my brows on and then with this I kind of clean them up and for me that helps the brow process go by way quicker instead of just trying to get every single perfect line so you don't have to clean it up I found that I do my brows in way less time if I kind of just throw them on and then I use this little brush to basically fix everything up. It makes them really crisp. It makes it look like you just got a fresh brow job done at the salon. Then next up, these two kind of go hand in hand. When I first got this product, it's the RCMA foundation. Um, I saw Mac Daddy used it a lot. He has beautiful skin. If you guys haven't seen his channel or his Instagram, you need to go watch him. He just, his skin always looks so flawless and fresh and it doesn't look cake face and I really like that and he lives by this foundation so of course naturally I had to go pick it up and at first I was like oh I don't like it it's super oily and then I tried putting it on with my finger to make it look like skin wasn't loving it I tried it with like the damp beauty blender didn't love it um, and then I kind of looked in my collection and I found this by Real Techniques and it's by the Sam and Nick collection and it kind of just has this like pointy thin edge type thing I don't really know how to describe it but when you put these two together onto your skin it gives you like this flawless finish coverage um, I just think this is a great great foundation as long as you put it on with the right um, I don't know brush applicator whatever uh, yeah so I think it's really really awesome I really like it I've been wearing it for the past like two three weeks and my skin has never felt better it feels like really light I feel like my skin can really really breathe with it so I really love it um, yeah and it's nice and inexpensive you can get it right off Beautylish I'll put like a link in the bio and all that next up I actually have it on my lips right now and it's the matte shaker by a Lancome they reached out to me and sent it to me and I was really excited to try it because I feel like I really like a lot of their products and I feel like they're almost like underrated a lot of people that are a little bit younger don't really use them as often I don't know why um I feel like they're reaching out to influencers a lot more and people are just realizing like wow they're a really great company great brand um so yeah I have literally loved like everything of theirs and I really really like this it's really nice it's light it's subtle it's the shade hot pink I believe oh no it's called yummy pink and I don't know it's just you can't like you can't I haven't I 
you can touch your lips and it doesn't like smear or smudge or anything and it feels light it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything so i would put like chapstick over it just because i am prone to eating really dry lips but the color payoffs are really beautiful um and it's like a little shaker so you just shake it up and put it on your lips and then it has this like little fuzzy thing on it i don't know i like that the color is not too intense but it's nice and pink and but it's not so in your face it's a little bit you know chilled out so another brand that i really really like and this is by winky lux and it's the little flower lipstick and i love this lipstick um i think it's great for day to day it just leaves your lips with like a little hint of color nothing too crazy it's nice and glossy but i hate the kind of gloss wearing on the wind then it gets stuck to your face that makes me fucking crazy i like that this doesn't it's not to that like extent of glossiness it's not like over the top like leaving crumbs on your face because that's annoying too so i don't know it's just really easy wear i usually keep this right in my purse for like if i just want to do like a natural no makeup makeup or like even if i'm going to the gym and i just want like a little color on my lips because i notice for me i don't know about everyone else sometimes my lips get lost even where i have when i have like barely any makeup on they just i don't know i like a little little something on my lips so i think this is really good for day to day um while we're on the topic of brushes i'm just gonna jump right in about stuff that i'm like really disappointed that i got and it's the unicorn set by Too faced these are like nice but i mean if you look at the price i just don't think it's that great like i just wasn't i wasn't thrilled by it these feel like really cheap and chancy these parts i don't know i just thought of maybe there'd be a little it'd be a little heavier i don't know i just i thought i would be more impressed and i'm just like mm, cool whatever didn't really love this one it's like kind of a square kind of not there's a lot of bristles and stuff but i've only washed them once and bristles are already starting to fall out i don't know can't say i loved it because i didn't so i'm just gonna be honest with you guys then another color it's like a new brand and it's called black up and here it is you guys should look them up especially if you're a woman of color um i think they target their makeup for women of color um they sent me this color and it's called lm02 and it's like this nice beautiful coral color Let's see and as you can see it's just like so pigmented so vibrant the color is so so beautiful and i love the wear of it um i talked about this in another instagram post and literally i wore it all day and i just had no problems with it it felt really nice on my lips um it didn't crumble it didn't get dry and just like fade and get like um yeah so i really really liked it i got a ton of compliments on it so i definitely recommend it so while we're on the topic i'm i don't even know why i'm saying while we're on the topic because we're really not on any topic i kind of just jump around sorry try to stay with me stay with me stay focused i really like the sigma magic brush shampoo i used to use baby wash and warm water and i would scrub 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 and it would would take me a pretty good amount of time um i've always used the little mat with it i've talked about it so many times that's why i didn't even put it in this video but then kind of up my game and i decided to try this out and it has turned my life around it literally cut the time of brushing um washing my brushes in half so i literally barely need i do like a little dime size squirt on like each one i like wash it and i'm done so it just makes it a lot quicker i don't think Honestly, I don't think there's much of a difference in cleaning wise. I just, it takes a lot less time when you use that. I don't know. It just breaks it down a lot quicker. So that's nice because honestly, I usually wash my brushes while my kid is in the bathtub. So I'm like in the bathroom with her while I'm like doing my brush thing and she's playing. So I try to do it as fast as I can. So it's nice that it kind of just makes the process a lot quicker. So another thing is, is Javinci sent me this Live Irresistible perfume. I used to use the Javinci, Javanchi, whatever, Dahlia. Um, that is like my number one favorite too. It's so good. But I was too lazy to go downstairs and get it just because I'm a fat ass. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but this is like such a good one. It's so, the smell is so pretty. You only need one squirt. You don't need to go overboard with it. It just smells like so sexy and feminine. Not like punching you in the face type of smell. It's just really, really pretty. And I really, really love it. I got tons of compliments on it. My husband, he's not like a big um, fragrance type person. When I wear them, he like, he hates ones that are just like over the top and he was like i love that perfume it smells so 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 good and you don't have to go crazy with it so it's awesome so 
Another product that I really liked, um, it's a new product, it's called Beauty Big Bang. Um, and they're super, super inexpensive. They're like even cheaper than like drugstore finds. And here's a palette that um, I picked out. And it has really beautiful pinky shades to it. I'll give you guys some swatches. I'll give you two of my favorite ones. As you can see, as you can see, they're like super shiny, super pigmented. The colors are beautiful. They have a lot of um, different colored palettes and just different stuff to choose from. They also have these really cute mermaid lip stains that I actually put in my Instagram because I really, really like them. They're like metallic-y and metallic are really in. I personally didn't put it in this video because um, I like the color. The color payoff is beautiful, but it's not something I would really wear out all day or all night because it is a little bit tacky and I'm not really into that. But you should definitely check these out. Like I said, you can pick out whatever color palettes. There's tons of them. They have all different types of um, makeup and stuff like that. You can use my code Angela for 10% off. I'm not getting paid though. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, but that is a good discount code, especially if you love makeup, but you're on a little bit of a budget. That's okay. I've been there. I get it. So you guys should check them out. Another one of my favorites is this Palladio Matte Browns Bronzer. This is in medium. You can find this at like Ulta, the drugstore, whatever. I have been loving this. This is like my go-to summer bronzer. I love that it's not orange and it's not shimmery. I hate orange bronzer. It makes me crazy. So I love this and it doesn't have that gray so another fine I'm just gonna just gonna say there I'm gonna go there I hated this rose gold by Too Faced the love light ray of light whatever this highlighter and you've probably seen it it's like a new hot item and I was so excited when I got it because also girls like it's so good definitely get it because I was kind of up in the air about getting two different ones and she talked to me into getting this one um, and I came home, I was really excited, and literally, I have to put so much product on my face. I have it on right now, and literally, you can, like, barely see it, and that kind of pisses me off, because if I'm spending, like, 40 bucks for a highlighter, I want to go home looking like a disco ball. That's it. And I didn't look like a disco ball. I had to put on tons of product, and you still can barely see it, so I feel like it's such a waste of money. Not happy about it. Another find that I hated was the Infallible Total Coverage. I don't know if you've seen it. I love the OG Infallible. It's like one of my favorite foundations. I love matte, like I love full coverage um, products. So I thought this was gonna be really good. It is so hard to use. It doesn't spread. It kind of clumps up no matter how you, like any type of application you use. I hate it. Don't waste your money. It sucks. The end. Then another product you have seen me in my Instagram. I use it all the time and I'm so pissed about it. It's the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I'm, it's by Benefit. I'm so pissed about it. I love the product. The product is so good. It looks so good on the brows. It looks so natural, but this little shit, I literally just got it and look, it's already at the end. It's already gone. You know why it's already gone? Because it always fucking breaks. This thing, there's nothing I can do about it. No matter how light of a hand I use, it fucking breaks. I don't know if it gets dry. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Let me know. But if yours is broke, I want to know about it because it's bullshit because it's like $20 and I'm so pissed. And I've had it literally like a week. So that was a waste of money. Another thing I really like is if you're into dewy, glowy skin, I love the Lancome Absolute Powder. This one is in uh, Absolute Golden, and it almost looks rosy gold in the package, but when it goes onto your skin, it's beautiful. I use it as like my setting powder or my translucent powder. It just really gives me that like bright, glowy effect. Um, you don't need a lot of it or you will look like very, very glittery. So you just, a little bit goes a long way and it's just so beautiful and it's light and I just love it. But for on days where I wanna like go full face and I want just like that awesome, perfect coverage and I wanna look flawless and hide, every pimple pore on my skin i live for the pure four in one pressed mineral makeup this is so good it's such a good setting powder i literally love it 
I um, burnt myself. So when I was on vacation, I burnt myself right here. And I had a scab. The scab peeled off. And then I had this bubble. And it was just, it was really fucking ugly. Like, it looked bad. It looked like I had herpes on my face. So anyway, um, once the scab fell off and I was trying to fix it up, literally once I put my foundation on and then I set my foundation with that, it looked flawless. It looked so good. I love it. I can't talk about this enough. Like, it's just, it's just so good. And I don't know. I like that it doesn't make me look cakey, but it sets in my pores nicely. It just, like, looks smooth and silky and satiny, I guess. But it's just super full coverage, and I love, I love that. All right. So, I think this is my last one that I like because I have more stuff that I don't like. This is the Tarte, and I'm so upset I dropped it on the floor when I was drunk on vacation, which was such a bad idea is the Tarte unicorn palette is that what it's called make believe in yourself oh if you love sparkly shadows like i do you need this you need it i ha i was like i told my husband like i need that what do i need to do that so i had to give up some sexual favors to get this palette and it was worth it it was worth it it is so good i literally love the colors in here I used it on vacation. It's like the perfect summer shades if you just want to make a statement. I literally, there was times I used these sparkly shades with just a little hint of mascara and it just brought my face to life. I really, really love the color Pixie. I love marble, which is like a little bit of green with hints of gold. It's just, it's so beautiful for all skin colors and all skin shades. You need it. So another, and I feel like a lot of people love this, is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye i hate it it's so greasy it's so oily and it's super super thick i don't recommend it i've seen a lot of youtubers say they love it but i feel like they're lying or they're getting paid for it because there's nothing to love about it so another thing is is i usually love pure cosmetics so i was really upset when i got this because i think mac daddy and i i'm obsessed with him i talked about him earlier um, I think they collabed on this Love Yourselfie 2 palette. And the palette, it just looks like it would be so pretty, but the colors, I don't know. They're so hard to spread. You put them on your face and they're just so clumpy and they're really hard to blend. And I just wasn't, I just wasn't, we didn't, it didn't click for me. I don't know. I'm just dropping everything. I don't know, I just didn't love it. It just, you know how you expect something to be really good and then it just doesn't blow you away and then you're just like I hate it and I was so sad about it and I tried to use it and I tried to love it but it just didn't happen you know so my last thing that I hate and I feel bad um because I there was like a point in my life where I really liked it and then I was like this looks so bad what was I thinking and it's the elf lashes and they're cheap and I mean that just goes to show you kind of get what you pay for a lot of times um in the makeup brand business they're like two bucks or something I think it's the glue. I feel like sometimes when I use better glue, they look a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the glue sucks. It doesn't even really stick. Um, it's really, they're like really crappy. But that kind of ends it for the things I love and the things I hate. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know stuff that you like in here or just let me know what you think. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.